Okay guys, this will be our last tutorial on the indexing for now. For now, and uh, what we want to see here is how to, to index matrices in order to delete rows or columns, okay? So uh, if I have a matrix A, right, and uh, say I want to delete the last row, this one here, okay? It's very simple. I think this will be a very, very brief video. Okay. So to delete a row, all you need to do is to select that row. How do you select the row by indexing? Okay. You will say A of the last row, right? We'll say end, comma, column. Okay. And what we want to do is to say we, we assign to that last row an empty array. Okay. That's all. Empty array means this last row should disappear. It has no element. Okay, so if I press enter, you see that A has, has vamosed. Okay, the new A now does not have that particular, does not have that particular row any longer. So let's say I want to uh, delete this fourth column. Okay, what do I do? A of column, comma, four, okay, comma, four is equal to the empty array as simple as that and you see that the food column has disappeared and this is what i have left you can delete several rows and several columns also in the same manner just need to select them okay so say i want to delete these first two rows so what will i do a of one is to two right comma all of those rows would be equal to empty array and that's what i have left just this tool down that i have left okay so um it's as simple as that that's how you delete rows or columns so to delete for example these two here these two columns here i would just say a of okay is all the columns uh two is to three and that goes right what just happened Oh, sorry, sorry. This was indexing, right? I did not assign the empty array. <laughs> okay, so uh, all of that have to be equal to the empty array. And what is left from A is just 2, 10, and 9, 10. 2, 10, and 9, 10, right? So it's as simple as that. So uh, for the case of vectors, you, you don't need to actually indicate uh, the column operator, okay? If I want to remove this 5 here, for example, all I need to know is the position. Where is 5 located? It's at the third position, right? So I will just say V of 3, since it's one-dimensional, should be equal to the empty array, and the 5 there should disappear, right? And it works for column as well as row vectors. Great. So uh, with this, we are closing indexing and uh, in next session we'll be looking at uh, array concatenation okay so uh, see you there